I said years ago that if you could buy a Toyota that was designed by Alfa Romeo, it would be surely one of the best looking and tempting cars to buy. And I used to actually own an Alfa, but just as you would predict, it broke down all the time. So I sold it for, I think, half of its value uh, to get rid of it quickly. So what BYD have done here is super, super clever. And I would say a bit genius. Uh, their secret weapon is a German chappie called Wolfgang Egger. Wherever he goes, there is success. So people pay him big, big money to design their cars. So this is why BYD cars look the way they do these days. Thank you very much for joining me. It's great to see so many people subscribing to the channel. I'm Ben Alexander and I talk about the latest EV news around the world and I make videos every single day. So please stick around until the end and let me know your thoughts on this in the comments. BYD vehicles 10 years ago didn't really look great in my opinion. Uh, there was definitely a sort of switch a few years ago when they started to actually design cars that look similar to other Western brands such as Audi and Volkswagen. Uh, and if not similar, then you could sort of say that they uh, changed the look so it looks more appealing to the eyes of the people that kind of buy uh, Western brands. So for example, Volkswagen, Audi, Alfa, Fiat, Jeep. These are car brands that we will probably all recognize if you live in the US, uh, the UK, Australia, for example. It's not a bad thing to copy companies such as Volkswagen because they spend a huge amount of time and a huge amount of money uh, to make sure that things like the lights look appealing and the way the lights turn on uh, and they look uh, good to potential customers. The, the paint is nice. Uh, the doors sound really good when they close. The indicator makes the nice noise and it feels good. Uh, these little things, they make it all really appealing to people to buy. Um, all of these things don't necessarily make a car better, in my opinion. Uh, and I'm sure a lot of people would agree with that. But reliability and build quality do make a car better. The same goes with Lux. This is a really hard thing to quantify. If you're trying to sell to people that like the look and feel of cars like Toyota, Volkswagen, Alfa, Mazda, uh, you have to start making your cars have a similar sort of look or feel, or at least be on the same sort of spectrum. So if you put a Mazda badge on a BYD Atto, like a BYD Atto 3, it wouldn't look terrible. It wouldn't look weird unless you knew. Uh, the reason why this is so hard to do is because looks are very, very subjective. It's very hard to quantify, for example, if something is good looking in numbers. However, if you have enough data from the right places and you have a swanky German slash Italian uh, designer that designs cars for other big brands like Audi, for example, you'll clearly not go far wrong. And that's, I think, just my opinion. What do you all think? Let me know in the comments what you think about that. Uh, how do you think that BYD vehicles compare to such brands such as Mazda, Mercedes, uh, Toyota in the looks department? Or I suppose the looks department, but also the, the feel, the look, the touch, and all the steering wheel and the materials inside. How do you feel like they compare? If you look at what BYDs used to look like something like 10 years ago, they don't look terrible but they definitely do not look great either. So you can really see the change from when they brought on this new designer in 2017. And you can just see how successful BYD have been when you look at their stock price. And Warren Buffett uh, has had millions of dollars worth of shares for years, well below this big boom with BYD being so successful. And then it's taken off and he's made loads of money. And I think over the last couple of uh, years, he sold something in the region of a couple of hundred US dollars, a couple of hundred million US dollars uh, worth of BYD shares. Huge, huge money. So let's go over who is this guy, Wolfgang Joseph Egger. He is a very accomplished automotive designer, really, really successful at what he does. He's been doing this for like 30, 33 years for his career. I think he started in something like 89, um, originally from Milan. Um, he's known for his work with vehicle manufacturers such as Audi and Alfa almost entirely, but he has worked with other brands too. Um, he has held significant positions in the industry, 
and contributed to the design of several really notable vehicles. Here are some of the vehicle manufacturers that Wolfgang Egger has worked for. So, uh, number one, Alfa Romeo. He served as the design director for Alfa Romeo, where he was involved in shaping the design language of the brand's vehicles. Big job. Two, Audi. He has worked for years at Audi. He held the position of chief designer, the like top, top dog uh, for the, the entire Audi brand. During his tenure at Audi, he played a key role in designing and shaping the aesthetics of uh, variety, mo most Audi models. It's not actually all of them, but it is most. Uh, like S3, A3, A4, for example, RS3. The SEAT brand. He was appointed the des uh, design director for SEAT, the Spanish manufacturer under the Volkswagen Group. So basically it's a Volkswagen Golf, but it just looks a bit different. He also worked heavily with a company that has a really difficult name for me to say. I think it's Ital Design Giugiaro. I'll put the I'll put it on the screen now because I can't say that. He worked as the chief designer for that company. And, and it's an Italian design and engineering company that collaborates with various automotive manufacturers, largely, um, for example, some of them Volkswagen and Audi, but Lamborghini too. L L Lamborghini is actually owned by Volkswagen. In 2017, he accepted the role of BYD's design director, and his employment was aimed, the idea of it was, uh, to establish a new uh, identity for the brand uh, that was decided in uh, 2017 to be a necessary thing for BYD. They made like a big show of it. Um, and the first car he did was the BYD Song Max. It looks good. And the BYD B series bus. Uh, notably, he created from ground up the BYD Han and the BYD Atto 3. And they are really beautiful cars, really good looking cars. So just as we wrap up the video slowly, we get to the end. I read a comment on my recent video where I talk about the anti-EV ad by the company Mobile One or Exxon Mobile, same company, that was put out by uh, them. And it was uh, to show that EVs are sort of stopping you feel freedom and that by having a petrol and a diesel car, you can feel liberated. That was the idea. Uh, the comment was by a person called Nemesis, and what they said was a really, really good point, and I just, I'll put it on the screen. And I just wanted to mention it because it's quite an amusing way to point out the obvious. Um, I, I'll put it on the screen. They made an anti-electricity commercial. It would be so easy to make one for addiction to poisonous fuels and liquids and gases. Yes, it's so true. Put in the comments your ideas for an anti-addiction to poisonous fuels, liquids and gases ad and I'll pin the best one in a couple of days, just for a bit of fun. If you wanted to hire a guy to design a car for you, you could do a lot worse than the guy that created the Alfa Romeo 8C. It's a piece of art, and it's been talked about for years as just being one of the most beautiful cars. I mean, I would still rather have a BYD Seagull than the Alfa 8C, as some of you could predict, probably. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please uh, consider clicking the like button for me so that YouTube know that people are enjoying my videos. And, and subscribe too. Most of you aren't subscribed. I think only 15% uh, of my, the people that watch my videos are subscribed. So please consider clicking subscribe for me. Um, I make videos every single day about electric vehicles and EV news.